Here we have a Nintendo Switch 2 and an Elgato capture card, but what do we have to do in order to marry these two together to capture high quality gameplay? Well, number one, you're gonna need a device such as a PC, laptop, or one of the newer iPads to bring in the video signal. We're at a point now to where a lot of the newer hardware that's being released can handle tasks such as recording gameplay. But I would say for the computers and laptops, the most important thing you're gonna wanna pay attention to is the speed of your processor. You need to have at least four cores, so a quad core processor to do these tasks and you should be fine. Now, as for the Elgato capture cards that you can use as a part of this setup, Elgato recommends using their Neo, the HD60X, the 4KS, and the 4KX as some of the best capture cards that you can go with. For this video, I'm gonna be showing the setup with the 4KS as it's honestly the perfect Elgato capture card for the Switch 2. The video output resolutions aren't overkill for what the Switch 2 can process, and it also doesn't under deliver in the case that I wanted to record in 4K60. Now, to set this up, your first going to want to make sure that the Nintendo Switch 2 is in docked mode. You're then going to want to grab your capture card and take an HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI end slot and then the other end of that cable will be plugged into the docking station of the Switch 2. Next you're going to take a second HDMI cable and plug that into the HDMI out slot of the capture card and then the other end of that cable will be plugged into your TV display or monitor. That way you have your video signal coming out of the Switch 2 going into this capture card and then being forwarded to your TV so that you can see it. Next, you're gonna wanna grab the super speed USB-C cable that came in the box with your capture card, plug that into the USB-C slot of the capture card, and then the other end of that will be plugged into your PC, laptop, or iPad. It is very important that you use that USB-C cable or an equivalent super speed USB-A to USB-C cable, so that way your connection from the capture card will actually be able to come up in whatever software you end up using on your computer. If you're using slow cables or you have one of the fast cables plugged into a slow port on your computer, you will also run into issues. With all of the different components put together now, this is a flow diagram of what your setup should look like with everything hooked up correctly. The next part of the setup is deciding how you want to listen to your audio. The first method, which in my opinion is honestly the easiest, is just leaving your setup as is and then listening to your audio from the computer. Because right now with the current setup configured, the audio is going over HDMI. I'll show you guys on the computer in a moment how you can listen to that audio. You can, however, plug in a pair of headphones into the back of your monitor as another way to hear your game audio while it's being recorded over HDMI. A second method for capturing audio from the Switch 2 is using the headphones port on the top right side of the console. This is where you can plug in the Elgato Chatlink Pro cable so that you can pull the game audio from this port and deliver it to your capture card while being able to plug in a wired pair of headphones into this cable. Now that we have the hardware setup out of the way, it's now time to bring in the gameplay feed into our software of choice on our computer. That could be OBS Studio, Streamlabs Desktop, Meld Studio, and even Elgato Studio, which is their newer or refreshed 4K utility tool. To download this application, you can just head over to the Elgato Downloads page. I also left the link in the description below. But once you get here, you will see an area where it says Elgato Studio, and you can just go ahead and select the blue download button. With Elgato Studio now installed on my computer, I just went ahead and launched it. And as you can see, it automatically detected that I had the Elgato 4KS connected and popped up my gameplay. Now, if you're in the boat to where you're not getting a signal at all for your input device, the first thing I recommend you do is double check that all of your cables are connected the right way. And then the next thing is double check to make sure that you're not using a slow port or a slow cable with your computer. And please don't use any additional adapters, splitters, or any other types of cables that could be slow with this setup. The other thing that you can try is power cycling the switch. So completely turn it off and then try to turn it back on to see if it comes back and gives you signal. Another issue you guys may experience if you're using an HDR display is overexposed or washed out colors on either your display or on the capture card image. To fix this, you'll need to access your Switch 2's HDR screen settings by navigating to settings, display, 
and then adjust HDR at the bottom. You'll want to align these pattern instructions with the capture card image, not your TVs so that your recordings don't look messed up. If you're still not happy with your playing experience after this adjustment, I would just disable HDR output on the Switch 2 altogether and that will make the colors normal across your display and capture card image. Alrighty, with that out the way, to give you guys a quick tour of the Elgato Studio application, on the top left hand side, this is where you're going to see the list of capture cards that are connected to your computer. To the right of the device section, you have the resolution that you are recording in currently. Right now, I'm at 1080p 60, which is full HD, and my input source is 4K 60 HDR, which is the maximum that the Nintendo Switch 2 can output. Following the arrow diagram here, it shows which capture device I'm using, the output format, which again is 1080p, and then also how I am recording the audio, which right now we're using HDMI audio, which you can see coming through here at the top. Now, what if we wanna modify our recording resolution and the method that our audio is coming through? Well, we can go over here to the right-hand side to the settings icon, and then within here, we can go to recording, and then for max resolution, we can set this from 1080p all the way up to 4K, and that'll update our recording resolution, but depending on the computer that you're using, you may see this come up on the top of your screen saying, hey, your system might struggle. And if that's the case, you're gonna wanna knock that back down to 1080p or use a different recording application altogether, such as OBS Studio. And I'll show you guys how to set that up in just a second. Additionally, in here, you're gonna see your recording path that you can set. You can also modify the file name in here as well. Now to change the audio input method, you're gonna see this hidden little settings area. If you open up this navigation pane and you look to the bottom here under the audio section, here you can change it from HDMI audio to analog if you're using the Chatlink Pro cable. This software does give you the option to enhance the gain level in case that audio is coming in a little soft. If you guys need to play your audio out loud, you can go down here and unmute your audio so that you can hear it and then set how loud you wanna be able to hear that audio. If you need to take a screenshot, you can press this button here to start a recording, press this button with the big red circle on it. And once you're finished recording, press that button again, and then you can go to this button here to open up your file storage location to see all of your screenshots and videos. Now, if you wanna get more control over how we record our gameplay, such as being able to add a face cam and a microphone to the mix here, something you can't do in Elgato Studio, then within OBS, to add your Elgato capture card, you're gonna to wanna to go to one of your scenes, go to your sources section, select the plus button, and add a video capture device source. You can name it whatever you'd like. And then from there, you wanna to go to the first drop down menu and then find the Elgato capture card. Select that and you should see your gameplay pop up right on screen. Then you can choose your resolution below by selecting the custom option and setting your desired quality. After that, go ahead and select OK and resize the gameplay source to fit your canvas. And if you are on a Windows computer, your audio should flow in automatically. You should see it in your mixer. But if you're on the Mac side, you will need to add in an audio input capture source. So go ahead, add that in. Again, name it whatever you like. Select that drop down and then choose the Elgato capture card and you'll see your audio flowing through. Now, if you don't see any audio flowing through, double check that your audio input setting in the Elgato Studio app aligns with how you've configured your setup. Next, to hear the gameplay audio from your computer, you're gonna wanna right click in the mixer, go to your advanced audio properties and find the Elgato capture card source. Once you see it, head over to the right hand side, select the drop down, and choose to monitor and output this source. That way you can hear it and it's recorded at the same time. To add a face cam over your gameplay, go ahead and add another video capture device source. Select the drop down and choose your webcam. Go ahead and select OK. Resize the webcam accordingly, making sure that it is on that top layer over your gameplay so that you can fully see it. Once it's in position nicely, you can go ahead and add a microphone in next. To do that, just go over to your settings and then go to the audio section, find your global audio devices, and within one of the mic auxiliary device dropdowns, go ahead and choose the microphone that's connected to your computer. This way you have a complete streaming and recording setup established with your microphone, game audio, your face cam, and the gameplay picture. But there you guys have it. That is how you can set up your Nintendo Switch 2 console with an Elgato capture card. If you guys came to enjoy the video and it helped you out, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Shout out to Elgato for sponsoring this video. I do truly appreciate it. And if you guys need help with the best settings to configure for streaming and capturing your gameplay, take a look at this video here. It'll set you straight and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.